With the body of the mailer typed, we'll make some changes to it by inserting and deleting some text. Text is inserted and deleted at the insertion point, so first we'll quickly show you some ways to move the insertion point around the document. Moving with the mouse is pretty simple. Just point and click. We can also move the insertion point with the arrow keys on the keyboard. The home key moves it to the beginning of the line, while the end key moves it to the end of the line. When we hold down the control key and press end, the insertion point moves to the end of the document. When we press control home, the insertion point moves to the beginning of the document. To move one word at a time, we press control right arrow and control left arrow. Control down arrow moves to the end of a paragraph or the beginning of the next one, and control up arrow does the same in the opposite direction. Now let's use the insertion point to insert and delete text. To insert text in front of this, we click there. Then we type our text. The text is inserted, and the other text adjusts to make room. Deleting text is just as easy. You saw that the backspace key erases text to the left of the insertion point. The delete key erases text to the right of the insertion point. A quick way to delete a word is to move the insertion point in front of it and press Control Delete. Control Delete deletes the word or partial word to the right, and Control Backspace deletes the word or partial word to the left. If you change your mind about a deletion or about any other change to the document, you can reverse it easily with the command called undo. We can undo our last change with the undo button. We click on the undo button and our last change is reversed. The deleted text is brought back. Only the last change we made is undone. Our previous changes are not affected. We can redo our last undo with the redo button. And to undo or redo more than the last change, we click on the arrow next to the button to display a list of the changes we've made. We're fine with our changes now, so we close the list. Now we'll combine the last two paragraphs into one by deleting the line endings between them using the delete key again. We click at the end of the second paragraph. Then we press delete twice. The paragraphs are combined. We type two spaces to finish. Now we'll add a heading to the mailer and show you how to quickly insert the current date. First we'll add some blank lines at the beginning. We press Control Home to move to the top. We press Enter twice to insert blank lines. And we press Control Home again. We type two and a colon, then press the Tab key. The insertion point moves to the first tab stop. The default tab stops are set at half-inch intervals across the page. We type the rest of the line and press Enter. We press Enter again to leave a blank line. We type From and press Tab. Since From overlaps the first tab stop, the insertion point moves to the next tab stop. We fill in the rest of the line using Autocomplete. Then we press Enter twice. Now we want to fix the lines so the word bed lines up with my name. We'll simply move bed and breakfast guests to the second tab stop. We place the insertion point in front of bed and press tab. The text moves to the second tab stop. Now to add the date, we move the insertion point, type date, and press tab twice. We could type the date, but we'll have Word enter it for us. To insert the current date, we click on the Insert menu and select Date and Time. A dialog box appears. Dialog boxes are used to give instructions to the computer. In this dialog box, there is a list of different date formats showing the current date. We select the one we want. Notice the Update Automatically choice. If we checked this, the date would be updated whenever we printed the document. We click on OK. The date is automatically typed in the document. Word gets the date from the computer's internal clock. How's it going? Good. I was just telling them about inserting dates with the date and time command. Hmm. I like to use the field command on the insert menu. You always have to be different. You can insert a date field 
or even a time field in a document. It's a code that automatically displays whatever the current date or time is. Using a date field is like what I tell Terry. When you're dating, play the field. Oh, that would be good if it was funny.